Hey friends, it's me, Kayla Friday, and welcome back to my channel here at Little Cahaba Junkin'. I hope that you're having an awesome day, and I'm so glad that you're tuning in and watching our newest video. Also, if you're new, thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope that you enjoy our content because we have a lot of fun here on this channel. We're all about having a good time and vintage goods and talking about Jesus and family and all the good stuff that makes life grand. <laughs> so. Over here in this basket, I have some awesome vintage goodies because me and my Aunt Penny were able to go junking today at some of our favorite places. Um, we were able to go to University Pickers up at the Leeds Outlet Mall um, because we were up there meeting my cousin Dawn who just bought a new house up in Trustful and we were actually trying to look for a few specific things for her house. But you know, anytime me and Penny get together, we, we gotta go junk. <laughs> Gotta go find some awesome stuff. So we had to stop by the, um, the University Pickers and we also were able to go to Hobby Lobby and Target, Kirkland's at home and Home Goods with my cousin Dawn. So we had a lot of fun and sell a lot of really neat stuff. But if you're interested in seeing all those awesome stores and seeing all the awesome um, vignettes and things like that at University Pickers, keep on watching and then at the end of the video i'll show you all the awesome goodies i found because i found some good stuff so let's jump on into the video and you can see everything that we saw today and then like i said at the end we'll talk about all my goodies that i found and how i plan on using them see you back in a few minutes you gonna find something good i hope so we headed in to the shops of grand river to go to this university pickers ever seen something so beautiful something so fine as this <laughs>
Now this is what you call a junkin haul, my friends. Love it. Okay, everybody. I know that you saw some awesome stuff that you had to go get after you saw this video. <laughs> In all seriousness, if you're local, you've got to go. You have to go to University Pickers, at least for those two booths. The one that had all the Americana stuff and then the House of Five that's in the back corner back there that had all of those vintage goodies. I literally could have spent a thousand dollars in there today. It was just so beautiful. They set up their booth so beautifully and have such beautiful vignettes and even if you don't buy anything it's just so inspiring to just see the way they put everything out. And then obviously there's always cute stuff at Home Goods and TJ Maxx and things like that or at the at-home store and places that we went. But y'all know I'm a sucker for vintage, so most of everything I got today was vintage. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in the haul. I'll go ahead and show you the couple of things that I got that are not vintage. And the first thing, and this is the only thing that I purchased at the at-home store, is this really cute rug. Woo! So it um, almost reminds me, it, it was over with all the jute rugs and you saw that in the video. So it's not really a jute rug, but it's really cute. I'll hold it up where you can see the print and the texture, but I really like it. I am very eclectic. I have <laughs> a lot of different tastes and styles, but I do also really enjoy the kind of bohemian style when it comes to rugs and pillows. Um, so, I thought this was really cute, and I plan on using this in my kitchen. Okay, the next thing, <laughs> got everything in this awesome basket, and I'll show you the basket last. So, that was the only thing that I got, like I said, at the at-home store, and over at Home Goods, I didn't really get any decor, but I found this absolutely precious bag to take with me when I go junk in. It says strong, sweet, and southern. And y'all know that's me to a T. Okay, let me flip it around this way. Anyway, strong, sweet, and southern. And it has the little um, gingham looking print down there and uh, has little flowers. And I just love how cute it is. And it has the little tie. But I thought this would be just so cute to take with me on my junkin' adventures. It's only five bucks, and it'd also be cute to take like to the beach, to the river, things like that. So I purchased that at Home Goods. And the next things that I purchased, this isn't really for decor, but I'll use them on my coffee bar, are these really cute stirrers. I've seen um, Holly Miner over at Simply Lake and Lease find these several times, and I found some really cute ones for like the uh, winter time, for around Christmas that are like cocoa inspired, but I've never actually been able to find the tea honey stirrers. So I was so excited when I found those. Um, so I got the clover honeybees, and then this one is actually a salted caramel. Excuse me. <laughs> yes, it's caramel. I don't say caramel. I'm from the country. I say caramel, <laughs> but it's salted caramel. So that'll be awesome to use in our coffees. Okay, now everything else I got in here actually came from University Pickers and I've got some really awesome stuff. So I thought these were absolutely adorable. And if you know these kind of vintage canning jars, you know they tend to be really expensive, especially when they have the lids and they have the metal clasps or the closers that go on the top, they're usually around like $24 a piece. And I know that sounds so crazy, but I promise get out and shop for them if you're down here around my area and they're so expensive. But I found these for eight bucks and I just thought they were adorable. They're gonna look so cute with all my um, summer stuff and they will also be adorable um, just year round, but I thought they would look really cute for the summer. So I got those. And then I got these amazing little silhouettes. For the set of them, it was 12 bucks and I got this from House of Five and I thought they were so sweet. 
Y'all know I love silhouettes and I just thought these were adorable. I don't have any of these small and I just thought they were precious. So I had to get them. So we got the man and the woman and they're just darling. They're so cute. My Aunt Penny saw these and she's like, are you not gonna get those? And I had already relived them. That was junkin' mistake, junkin' 101, take your time and dig. <laughs> That's why they call it picking, because you gotta pick through everything. Okay, so the next thing I found, I thought this would be so cute for coming at 4th of July, is this awesome eagle. And he's just awesome, guys. You know, I just, I just love the summer and I love to put out my patriotic decor because I really do love America. Um, you know, and you don't have to love the president. You don't have to love who's in office. You don't have to love what's going on to love your country and to be appreciative for the freedoms that you have. Because I'm here to tell you, it's, we are the most blessed nation in the world. I mean, and I know that it's wonderful other places too, but I just feel so fortunate and so blessed to be able to say that I was born in America and that I have the freedoms that I have. So thank you to God, first off, for his blessings on our country, and thank you so much to the American soldier and to the American soldier's family for all your sacrifices. But anyway, a little spiel, but I just love this. I think it's gonna be so cute to put out. And then obviously, after I use it for my decor, I'll put it in my husband's man cave. And I will do a man cave court, man cave tour one day because several people have said they're interested in seeing that. And it's very patriotic Americana themed year round. So I'll show you guys that in one day, one day in a video. Okay. So the next thing I purchased is this amazing American heritage book. I thought it was so cute. They actually had one that had George Washington on it and I really wanted that, but it was just all torn up. So I actually ended up getting this one and it is just a really cute book. This is volume 13 and it just has all kind of awesome facts about the American history. And I just thought it was adorable and it's gonna be perfect for 4th of July. Okay, I'll just go ahead and show you that. This, this I thought was so stinking cute. This is actually also from the House of Five. I wiped her booth clean today, but it is a framed quilt square. And if you'll notice, it has some beautiful colors. Most importantly, red, because we're doing red, white, and blue for summer. So I had to have this. I think I'm actually gonna put it back on my mantelpiece and layer it with that really pretty um, silhouette of the child that I bought in my last thrift haul. It has a red background on the silhouette, so I think this with the red will just be really cute with some flags and things like that. So I had to buy that. I didn't have to, but I wanted to. Okay, and then, oh, I have been wanting one of these rug beaters for so long, especially one that was really vintage and metal like this. I just had to have it. This also came from House of Five. Girl, if you watch this, we need to do a collaboration. We need to, I, I, I love your booth and I'll be supporting your booth all the time. And I met her actually at a show and she was so sweet but I got this really awesome heart-shaped rug beater, and I think I'm actually gonna hang this with, um, mix it in with one of my little accordion racks that I have and just mix it in with a vignette there. Okay, guys, so um, I'm actually gonna show you this last because it came from Amazon, but I've emptied everything out of my basket, and the last thing that I have to show you from today's Junk and Adventure is this beautiful wicker basket. Isn't it so pretty? It has a bottom shelf here, and then it has this really pretty wicker detail. I thought this would just be so cute to put either on my porch with some red geraniums and some flags coming off, or either over in the corner of my living room with something in it. I just thought it was so adorable, and it was only $25, so I had to get it. But isn't it cute? It almost looks like a little baby bassinet. <laughs> I just thought it was so sweet. So I had to get that. 
um, but more than likely it'll end up on my front porch. But those are all the awesome things that I found today while we were out. But while I'm doing a haul video, I wanted to share this with you just in case you would be interested because obviously we do have 4th of July coming up. And I know a lot of you love patriotic stuff for the summer. I love anything vintage and obviously anything patriotic, but it's really hard to find vintage flags. Um, so I got on Amazon and I just typed in vintage flag and this little baby showed up. Oh, <laughs> it beautiful. I just love it. It's so pretty. So 76 is a vintage flag and it's like really looks like it's stained and vintage. It's just absolutely gorgeous and it was only $25. I just love it. So this is actually, for the season, I think gonna hang up on my cathedrals if I don't do a gallery wall. So I wanted to also share that with you guys because it's just so beautiful and it was such a good price. So just go to Amazon, type in vintage flag, vintage American flag, and it will come up. It's one of the first results. And it's also Amazon Prime. Um, you can use Amazon Prime with it and it came in in like two days. So that's always awesome. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's haul. I hope that you saw a lot of awesome things that you um, can get some inspiration from for this upcoming summer season. Um, and as always, just be blessed. Thank you so much for watching our video and supporting our channel. It means so much to me. I get to sit and read everybody's super sweet comments. We do have some occasional bad eggs, but that's okay. You can't please everybody. You know, like my mama always said, just make, you know, make the good Lord proud. You know, that's the only person that matters is if you're making the Lord happy and making him smile. So thank you again so much for joining us. Like I said, I hope you have a very blessed week. Have a wonderful Memorial Day. And when you're out celebrating with your family, just remember what this holiday is all about. Um, it's about the sacrifices of our American soldiers and their families and everyone who has just, you know, stepped up and taken action to defend this country. Without our servicemen and women, we just wouldn't be able to have the freedom that we have. We wouldn't be able to worship. We wouldn't be able to spend time with our families. You wouldn't be able to have the career that you have. You wouldn't be able to do anything. I mean, it's, it's just literally amazing the freedoms and the blessings that we have being in america and i just am so thankful that i was born here in this great nation and you know you don't have to like what's going on like i said you don't have to like the president you don't have to like um things that you see on tv just remember that you are blessed you woke up in a country that has freedom you're able to go to church you're able to spend time with your family you're able to you know, do what you want to do in your day-to-day -day life. And I know that things aren't perfect right now, but things could be so much worse, and we're still so incredibly blessed. So just always remember that and just be thankful. And if you see a soldier this weekend or any time, thank them for their service because it is truly priceless. So if you are a soldier or you are the family member of a soldier, thank you. You're awesome. God bless you. And I appreciate your sacrifice so much. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Be on the lookout this coming week. We're going to do another craft video. We're going to be tea staining some American flags to be using in our upcoming vignettes for the summer. Um, and also hopefully be able to do a decorate with me video. So stick around and uh, be on the lookout for that. And I'll see you next time. My next trick is to make this chip disappear. <laughs> <laughs>